Up next, single phase versus three phase. What's the difference? Hi, I'm David Green from Tejo, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. If you are looking for solar or a battery for your home or business, one of the questions you are guaranteed to be asked is, is your home single phase or three phase? As you can see from the basic diagram, in a general single phase scenario, there is one active wire fed into the home and one neutral. Three phase supply has three active wires feeding into the home and one neutral. The reason behind this, as we mentioned earlier, is all about the distribution of load. Historically, most homes were built with a single phase connection. If we think back not that long ago, when we ran our lights, the fridge and a TV, that was pretty much it. These days, nearly everything we touched is plugged into the wall. Most homes you can just speak and something will turn on. And that's before we even consider the uptake in electric vehicles. In comes three phase power. Many new buildings are now built with three phase power and recently we have seen a lot of homes spending the money to upgrade to support their own growing demand. Three phase simply supports more demand for your home because it can balance the load across three phases or wires, not just one. It's that simple. If you speak to an electrical engineer, you'll end up with a much more complex explanation and some analogies we've come across are more complex than the problem. And that is why we have decided not to waffle on about all the crap, 120 degree intervals, sine wave voltages, blah, blah, blah. How does single and three phase impact installing solar or batteries? It is really about picking the right system for your home. And if you have a single or three phase connection, it's just another of many considerations. A couple things that each connection can impact are, depending on who your distributor is, there will be a cap on how much power you can export per phase. This gets talked about a lot, but when you break it down in a residential setting, it isn't the end of the world. Where we are, our distributor is Ausgrid, and they allow up to 10 kilowatts per phase, which is pretty damn good. When you compare it to the majority of other distributors who only allow five kilowatts per phase. To learn more about exporting, check out our video on export limiting. Now, you have to pick the right inverter, but any good solar retailer will only quote an appropriate option. But keeping it simple, a single phase home can only have a single phase inverter. A three phase home can have either a three phase inverter or a single phase inverter. So how do you know if you are single or three phase power? The simple way is to head out to your meter box Open it up and have a look. If you have three main switches or three fused cartridges, you have three phase power. If you only have one, you have single phase power. It's that simple. If you still aren't sure, just take a photo of your meter box, open up the lid of course, and send it our way. We'll let you know, no problem. Now, if you're considering solar or battery for your home or business, please reach out and speak to an energy expert at Tejo today. Give us a call on 1300 229292 92 or check out our website at www.taho.com.au. That was everything you need to know about single phase and three phase power, what the differences are and how it impacts your home or business. I'm David Green from Taho. Thanks for watching.